out the um, um, well there's not been any fracking so far. Is that, is that true there hasn't been any so far? There's only one well been drilled and fracked in the UK and that was fracked by this company, Quadrilla. And that, that that's the well that triggered two seismic events. That's why this has to be stopped. See the, see the way they look? This is outrageous. Here they go. Here they come. Here they go. Oh, look at this. Look, look, look. That's outrageous. This is the... This is the... Look. Whoa. Uh, you guys must be very, very proud of yourselves. Very proud. Very proud of yourselves. Look away. Out of the road. God damn. Keep walking backwards. Walking backwards. Yeah? Can you get your hand off me? Get your hand off me. Uh, get, get your hand off me. Move! Two, two, three, three. Two, two, three, three. Uh, here we go. Hey. Move! I can't find it. Hey! Get your hand off me. Right now. What was that? You just walked You're not even in there. Move! You're shoving people off the pavement. You're fucking. You are in the road. He was on the pavement. The pavement when you pushed him. Get your hand off me. That was assault as well. You just assaulted people! He's picked up, he's picked up, he's picked up, he's picked up. He's got it back here, he's got it back here. You just assaulted two people on camera! Two, two, three, three! Two, two, three, three! You see? Right, this is it. Hey! Get your hands down, control yourself! He's literally trying to incite. moving. Here. Control yourself! Yeah, get a, get a grip! Get a grip! Control yourself! Calm down! Calm down, control yourself! Get out of the way. I'm not in the way. Get out of I trust that the British people must be very, very proud of their police. Once upon a time, now they recruit just thugs. Absolute thugs. Kettle, they're gonna kill, they're gonna kill. The corporate police state. Is this guy? This is the guy who's just pushed 3099, the guy who we just caught on camera pushing the woman here. So that's another complaint. You guys must be very, very proud of yourselves. And here is driver, this is a delivery attempt. He's just been instructed to drive as fast as he can. That's unbelievable. That is so fucking irresponsible. Irresponsible. Oh. Okay. Hello and walk home. I'm out of breath. That's uh, 
pretty disgusting policing after restraint. And uh, what's interesting is that these guys are an embarrassment to their fellow officers. We've had the PLOs actually sharing their disgust at the behaviour, particularly of uh, these guys. They decided to uh, crawl back to their trucks. Well, you know, the reality is if there were sufficient numbers down here at Preston New Road, then they wouldn't bring... In fact, there's a significant number of these police that would probably not want to come down here. So it needs numbers. It's a numbers game. The vast majority of people in this country do not want this industry. And yet uh, the government is going to use its corporate enforcement officers to just push this through. It relies on public apathy relies on willful ignorance and it relies on thugs. And, and this is the guy, he had a great smile. He great smile. He's a violent man. Oh, and here we go. Oh, <laughs> this, this, one, is this, his, this is his trainee. This one's just as bad. Oh, unbelievable. God damn. These guys, are, they behave like they're all fetted up. Anyway. That's it, I've had enough for today. Uh, well, so I'm about 200 yards from the uh, well site, but uh, for just those of you still watching, this, this is where the pen would be. This, basically, had we not challenged the court in the courts on Monday there wouldn't have been any of this on the road today because everybody would have been corralled in the pen here behind the hedge away from sight and anybody basically protesting on the road would have been arrested under section 14 of the Public Order Act that's why the challenge in court on, uh, on uh, Monday was so fundamental not just for the anti-fracking campaign but basically for any any protest against anything in this country so you know we're fortunately on the ball and uh, anything like this that comes up then we will challenge but uh so yeah this, that's the well site of course quadrilla in the planning application said that they would have completed this in eight weeks it's now uh eight weeks and a bit they're obviously nowhere near finished on the construction of the pad Yet Quadrilla state in all their press releases that the protesters have not actually impeded their schedule in any way, which uh, either means that they lied on the planning application or they're lying and just trying to save face by having uh, saying that they're, they're still on schedule. Interesting day. Interesting day. Interesting. I think we just know that it's Quadrilla. <laughs> they're lying. Whichever way, whichever way it was, they're yeah. lying. But, uh, you know... It's not enough, as David Monk in Australia says, it's not enough to just say no. It's not enough to go say no at a meeting. You've actually got to get your feet on the ground because ultimately these people here have tried everything. They've still got a judicial review. That's what it makes it even more incredible is that there's a judicial review uh, due to be heard in the Manchester courts in a couple of weeks' time. And, uh, you know, Quadrilla obviously think that uh, that's a formality and that they can just uh, proceed with this. But uh, at that point, you know, the local community, just like in, in Yorkshire, will have tried everything they possibly can, and then all you're left with is boots on the ground. So I think the police have all now retreated to their, yeah, to their vehicles. So, uh, whew. There's a few out, but they were driving people along the road. How come it suddenly, it suddenly changed back around to... The to, the, to being able to drive the police back to there? Well, because the police didn't want to get too far away from their vehicles, so they've had to walk back. 
That's good for going home later. Anyway, but that's it from me. That was uh, uh, a goodbye from me. <laughs> goodbye from all of us. And uh, well, you know, um, I'm heading back to Kirby Mispleton. Um, but I'm sure we'll get back over to uh, Preston New Road at some juncture. But meanwhile, everybody who's uh, really within distance of uh, reasonable distance of Preston New Road, try and come down here just one day, one day a week, one day a month. But you know, if we had a, a rolling crew of you know a couple of thousand people, and uh, you know people coming down once once a week, once a month, whatever they could manage, then um, it would obviously make Quadrilla's life a lot more difficult. And let's make use of it because the it's very very clear that the intention is to start corralling uh, protesters, protectors into protest pens. And of course, if that was in Russia or North Korea or Iran, the media would be all over it, challenging, you know, the attack on democracy. Well, what you've just seen is uh, how the corporatocracy uh, pushes through an extremely unpopular corporate agenda. But of course, it hasn't got there yet because it's still only a pad construction. So we've got a long way to go. Okay, so it's dusk and I'm going to head out so uh, thanks very much for joining me and please share this please share this around Facebook let others see just how the British corporate state is driving through this agenda <laughs>